This is Abdul Samar Rabiu, the CEO of Boa Cement. In case you're not aware, Boa Cement is a huge cement production company that has been in a fight with Dangote Cement. Not physical fights, mind you, but underground fights over control of the market. This is popularly known as the Concrete War. In comparison, Dangode Cement is the largest cement producer in Nigeria with a market share of over 60%. Dangode Cement has a market capitalization of 3.65 trillion naira, while Boa boasts a 2.49 trillion capitalization. The rivalry between the two cement companies began in 2008 when Boa Cement entered the market. Before we dive into this epic concrete war, if you're new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. You won't want to miss a single moment of this adventure. In 1992, Dangote Cement began in Nigeria with one plant in Obajana. There are controversies surrounding how Dangote acquired the Obajana cement plant, but that's not the focus of this video. Aliko Dangote aimed to create a local cement company to compete globally. Facing initial challenges, government support boosted Dangote Cement's growth. Expanding rapidly, it became Africa's largest cement producer, contributing to infrastructure and economy. Dangote Cement has a production capacity of 51.6 million tons per year across 10 countries. There are three fully integrated Dangote Cement plants in Nigeria. Obajana Cement Plant in Kogi State is the largest at 16.25 metric tons per annum capacity across five lines. The Ibese Cement Plant in Ogun State has a capacity of 12 metric tons per annum serving Lagos and also produces cement for export to nearby countries in West Africa. The Dangote Cement Plant in Boko, Benue State, has a capacity of 4.0 metric tons per annum and is the oldest out of the three. In 2008, Boa Cement started in Sokoto, facing challenges in a market dominated by big players. This cement plant is the largest private employer of labor in northwest Nigeria. Government support also favored Boa Cement, leading to strategic expansion. Today, Boa is a significant player in Nigeria and Africa, known for quality and contribution to infrastructure and economy. Boa Cement is Nigeria's second largest cement company with a current installed capacity of 11 million tons per annum. This is huge, yet it's about six times less than the capacity of Dangote's cement plants. Both companies differ in approach, with Dangote emphasizing affordability and Boa focusing on quality. Both Dangote and Boa Cement are two giant blue chip companies. They operate in the same sector, enjoy federal import protection, but there's a real fight going on. Keep watching to find out. The clash between Dangote Cement and Boa Cement in Nigeria is more than a corporate rivalry. It's a battle for dominance in the lucrative cement industry, with broader implications for economic development. In a country and continent as vast as Nigeria and Africa, the competition between these giants is a testament to the growth and dynamism of the cement sector. The genesis of the conflict lies in the quest for market share, fueled by the ever-increasing demand for cement in Nigeria's booming construction industry. Under the leadership of Aliko Dangote has long been the undisputed leader, holding a significant market share and contributing immensely to the nation's infrastructure development. However, the emergence of Boa Cement, led by Abdul Samar Rabiu, disrupted the status quo introducing a formidable competitor with a commitment to quality and innovation. At its core, the clash is about control of resources, distribution networks, and ultimately the hearts of consumers. Both companies have engaged in aggressive expansion strategies, establishing multiple plants, and diversifying their product offerings. The battle extends beyond numbers and figures. It's a clash of ideologies and business philosophies. The struggle for dominance has not been without legal and regulatory confrontation. Disputes over mining rights, environmental concerns, and allegations of anti-competitive practices have punctuated the landscape. These legal battles highlight the intensity of the competition and the stakes involved. Both companies are not merely competing for a slice of the market. They are vying to shape the future of the cement industry in Nigeria. Some argue that Nigeria, with its vast population and ongoing infrastructure projects, is indeed large enough to accommodate both giants. However, the fight goes beyond the borders of Nigeria. As African economies continue to grow, cement is a critical component for development. The winner in this rivalry could potentially extend its influence across the continent. The impact of this competition goes beyond the boardrooms of Dangode Cement and Boa Cement. It resonates with the broader narrative of economic development, industrialization, and self-sufficiency. The cement industry is a barometer of a nation's progress, reflecting its capacity to build and sustain infrastructure, housing, and overall economic growth. 
Dangote Cement, under the astute leadership of Aliko Dangote, has strategically positioned itself by adopting a low-cost pricing strategy to capture a significant market share. Dangote Cement's approach is rooted in the belief that affordability is a key driver of consumer choice, especially in a market as price-sensitive as Nigeria. By offering cement at competitive prices, the company aims to appeal to a broad spectrum of consumers, from individual builders to large-scale construction projects. This strategy has allowed Dangote Cement to secure a substantial foothold in the market, making it the go-to choice for those looking for cost-effective building materials. On the other hand, Boa Cement led by Abdul Samar Rabiu has taken a different route by emphasizing quality as a paramount factor in consumer decision making. Boa recognizes that some consumers prioritize durability, strength, and reliability in their construction materials. As a result, Boa Cement places a premium on producing high quality cement that exceeds industry standards. Quality in this context of Boa Cement production encompasses several critical elements. It involves the meticulous selection of raw materials, ensuring that only the final ingredients goes into the cement mix. Secondly, Boa employs advanced manufacturing processes and adheres to stringent quality control measures throughout production. This includes rigorous testing for compressive strengths, fineness and setting time among other parameters. Moreover, Boa Cement invests in research and development to stay at the forefront of technological advancement in cement production. The company's commitment to quality extends beyond the product itself, encompassing environmental sustainability practices and community engagement initiatives. While Dangote Cement pursues market dominance through affordability, Boa Cement positions itself as a choice for designing consumers who prioritize the longevity and reliability of their structures. This present battle underscores the diverse needs of the market and the strategic choices these industry giants make to cater to those demands. Ultimately, the clash between low pricing and a quality-centric approach reflects the dynamic interplay of market forces and consumer preferences in Nigeria's competitive cement industry. In the grand scheme of things, the clash between Dagode Cement and Boa Cement is all to the benefit of the consumer and a testament to the dynamism of the African business landscape. It showcases the potential for indigenous companies to not only compete but also redefine industry. Their competition is shaping the future of the cement industry in Nigeria and by extension the trajectory of economic development in Africa. Only time will reveal the victor and the enduring legacy of this corporate clash.